The three major things to look at with milk systems are how is the milk supplied to the machine, what kind of control do you have over texturizing your milk, and also how is the milk delivered to your cup. So milk can be handled in many different ways from manual steaming in a pitcher to completely automatically into your cup without user intervention. The term used often when talking about those machines is one touch. Generally, a machine is considered one touch if it can make a milk-based drink like a latte or a cappuccino with the press of a single button without having to move your cup. For that to happen, milk and coffee spouts must be close enough together to hit a cup without moving it. If you are looking for one touch functionality without moving your cup, you do have to be a little careful. There are a few machines that are referred to as one touch that do require you to move your cup in between delivering milk and coffee. Now, machines can be supplied with milk in different ways. The most simple would be completely manual, using a frothing pitcher on a machine with a steam wand only. On these, the user does all the work. There are two kinds of steam wands, manual and auto frothing wands. Manual wands do require some practice to develop the skill of texturing or stretching the milk. But most manual machines will have some type of auto frothing wand, which automatically injects air in the milk, making it easier to create froth. Auto frothing wands go by names like Panarello and Turbo Froth, depending on the manufacturer. So a major consideration is how you want to work with milk. Do you want the machine to do it all for you, or do you want to do it yourself? If you do do it yourself, do you want the assistance of an auto frothing wand, the ability to froth manually for fine control of the density of the froth, or the ability to do both? For instance, nearly all gaja machines can use an accessory called the Latte Art Panarello Wand. These can auto froth, but remove the outer sleeve, and it turns into a manual wand, allowing you to texture milk capable of use in pouring latte art. Another way of creating froth is with a device called a cappuccino torre. These devices attach to a steam wand and typically have a tube which picks up milk and then deposits a froth into your cup. Again, these devices may go by other names depending on the manufacturer. Something to look for in these devices is the ability to change the character of the froth they create. Some produce just one kind of froth and others have a pin or other method of varying the amount of air incorporated into the milk. As we move into higher end machines, including one touch models, we find a couple of different ways of supplying milk. Some use a pickup tube, which is placed in a container of milk or connected to an external container, which include vacuum insulated carafes and on up to refrigerated countertop units. Another handy way of supplying milk are carafes, which attach directly to a machine. You can keep it in the fridge, ready to go. Pull it out when you make a drink and then return it to the fridge when done. On auto frothing machines, you will want to know if the type of milk froth is adjustable. Some machines create one type of froth and use time delays during which the froth will settle into steamed milk on the bottom and frothed on top. Others have a dial allowing you to vary the density of the froth and some allow you to program steamed or frothed milk in a menu. Cleanliness when working with milk is important, so most machines that do the frothing for you have some way of running steam through the circuit to clean them out. On machines with pickup tubes, you press a button to perform a cleaning. On machines with carafes, where the handle doubles as the milk spout, closing the handle automatically triggers a steam cleaning of the milk circuit. So to recap, things to consider for milk systems are, how is milk frothed? Is it manual or does the machine do some or all of the work for you? How is milk supplied to the machine? Options here range from manual frothing in a pitcher to pickup tubes, insulated carafes, attachable carafes, and even refrigerated countertop units. On machines that do the frothing for you, determine if the type of froth is adjustable and how the machine takes care of cleaning out the milk circuit. If you'd like some more help or need more information, don't hesitate to give one of our friendly experts here at Whole Latte Love a call. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up on everything coffee. I'm Mark. And I'm Morgan. Thanks for watching. The number one source for everything coffee is wholelattelove.com.